Page 74, Kumbaya. Most everybody's heard this melody at one time or another. Let's talk about 4-4 four, four time. It's got one flat. We're in the key of F major. I'm sure you can do the scale on F major. Let's do this one hand at a time. Make sure we get the notes and the rhythms and the fingering. Now, you have two counts in the first measure here, so it's a pickup measure. Well, you got two counts in the last measure at the bottom of page 75, so it's okay. The point is, we're coming in on beat three. So at the beginning, rather than this position, I want to be in this position, because I got the D. And I can cover all these notes in one position. I don't have to have the little finger doing this. So it would be a one, two, and then a one, four. I highly recommend that rather than what they're suggesting in the book. And each time this happens, same thing. Second line. And here, just three. You just bring the thumb up one. So you got two beats of rest to bring the thumb back down. So that's all. You get this in other places, the same fingering. Now, when you get to top of page 75, the whole note, you can go ahead, you can do this one, two, you stay here, and then here, if you want, or if you'd rather, you can come on down and do one, three, because we don't have a D coming up anytime soon. Actually, we don't have a D coming up again at all, so if you want to be in this position now, that's fine, or you can stay in this position and play them up here, whatever. You're going to need to play a G eventually, so it might be easier to come on down here and just stay in this position for page 75, for the whole page. Left hand, you're here. One and two. Now here, you're going to have to lift it. For measure three, you've got to go all the way down to this F. Well, isn't that fun? However, you can if you want, on the last note of the first line here, rather than using third finger, use thumb. That puts you closer to that F. You don't have to move as far. You just stretch it out a little bit and just move. You got big hands, you can just reach it. However, you just stretch out and if you third finger you got a lot further to move. Here, I don't have my hand is here rather than here. I'm closer to it. So on that last measure here, two and the thumb. Just put thumb on that. So again, the first line, one and two and three and four. And thumb and then a here. And then you got two beats rest to come back up. It's a B flat and a C. And then reach down to the C. That's not so bad, it's not as far. And two beats rest to come back up. Measure eight, you can just stay here. Third finger is fine because the next note is this F. You can reach that. Five seven chord in the key of F major. Remember the primary chords? If you don't, please go back and review them. You need to know them. They come in handy. The top page 75, you're just going to reach down and move. And then again up. Just lift up and move. One, two. Now they're saying one and then two because you need the thumb on that. That's fine. Works. And then do it uh, then for measure 16. Just stay there. Thumb on all because you don't need a D. But in the third line down you need the D again. So we do the two. One and two. Second finger. And then, and then the last line come down one just just one note come down three four one two and then the five seven and the one and the f and we're done put the hands together one and two and three and four and thumb here and then and then as i'm playing this i bring the left hand up Go top of page 75. You're here. Second finger. Two. That's a whole note. Hold it down. Now here, 
the melody's in the top hand. hand. No, no, it's in the right hand. And then going on to measure 18, the thumb comes down. And that's a half note, so just lift it up. Two. Half note. Right there, measure 22, rhythm. One, two, three. Comes in on B3 because it has a half rest. So it's one, two, three, four. And if you repeat, you go back to the beginning. So you get a handle on that, and the hand moves it's on that. The beat needs to be steady. It can be slow, it's a fairly slow piece anyway, but it, the beat has to be steady. And people aren't necessarily dancing to it. But nevertheless, the beat needs to be steady. Now we can add the articulation. Well, the only articulation really are the slurs. And we want. And go ahead and lift up. It's like taking a breath. You can you can separate this kumbaya stuff. It's it's like it's by itself. It's it's a separate thought. the rest give you the lift up, lift up, lift up, and so forth. Lift up between the phrases here. And on the areas where they don't give you slur, we'll just connect them as best you can. And the dynamics, well it starts out moderately soft, that's the melody. Here's the tricky part. We want to hear the melody. All this other stuff is background. Keep it in the background. Can you do that? Can you put more weight on this note than any of these? I'm just putting more weight on that note. I'm just the moderate so in the measure three. They don't need those dynamics. That's where you are anyway. You're soft anyway here, and you're moderately soft in the melody. So you want to hear that soft again. And you're staying about that. Now you're not going to stay exactly at that. You can get a little louder and a little softer as you feel it. After you get to know the piece and you're comfortable with it, then you can start feeling the piece. Then you get a little so louder and softer in places. It's okay. Right now we just stay within the realms of what they're saying. So we'll just stay moderately soft for the melody and soft for everything else. Or very soft. And then on top of page 75, again, the left hand now has the melody and it's moderately loud. This is a little louder than we were. Than you were at the beginning. Just a little louder. It's not loud, it's just sort of loud. And the right hand is soft. That's all melody. And then measure 15, soft again. And now the right hand gets the melody. So suddenly you swapped. Now the right hand is moderately loud and the left hand soft. So again, measure 15, that line, soft, moderately loud. Just for one measure, and then moderately loud in the left hand. two measures it's the right hand gets it. And the last measure it's all the same and it's all soft, both hands. Now speed wise this is a slow song and it kind of depends, you know, you're late at night, you're at a campfire and people are kind of singing, you're winding down for the day, you're getting ready to go to bed, it's softly, it's put people to sleep. real slow. It's up to you on the speed. It's a range or something, whatever. Now they've added pedal. Well, you don't really need pedal. You play the whole thing just fine without it. However, they've added it. It's going to connect these notes that we can't connect repeated notes on a piano. You got a little silence between each one, so the pedal will connect them. It'll also add the overtones, make it a little more colorful. Because when you have slow pieces or notes that are held out quite a while, the listener has time to actually hear the note. Well, if you don't do something, the note just kind of sits there and fades away.
Ugh. So the petal adds the overtones, adds a little more color to it. Makes it a little more entertaining, a little more interesting. I'm going to use lag pedaling or legato pedaling or syncopated pedaling or whatever you want to call it. The notes go down first and then the pedal. So at the beginning, I'm going to play the note first and then the pedal. And when I change the pedal, I'm going to do it right after I play the notes so the pedal overlaps slightly. And they, they show you in the last measure, the first line, to hold the pedal down throughout the whole measure. You get this. What? Takes the mood right out right there. It's like, what? Change the pedal on the half note. After you play the half note, keep it clean. And then hold the pedal down here. Now you can keep the pedal down and not change it. Here. Lift it up with the hands. Put it down after you play the half note, measure five. Here. Hold it down through the C. Lift the pedal with the C. No pedal here. And then again. here they're telling you to change the pedal. That tells me the first line was an error. You should have changed the pedal every two beats in the first line there on the last measure because in the third line in the last measure it's the same thing and now they're telling you to. So yes definitely I'd do it anyway but yeah. Keep it clean. And here on measure nine you can have a little silence here it's like a breath. If you do, lift the, lift the pedal up with the hand and then push it down after you play the notes. And then here, if you want it legato and you're all connected, then you'll change it after you play the notes. Here, and then here. I kind of like the phrasing, so I'm going to lift up a little silence in there. Then in the next measure, don't pedal the first beat. I don't want to catch all of this. We're coming down. I, I, I don't want all that sound. So if I don't, just don't pedal the first beat, I pedal it after I play the dotted half note. And I only pedal that dotted half note to add the color because you got time to hear it. Otherwise, it wouldn't pedal that either. And then a measure 12. I would suggest you go ahead and lift the pedal up with a half note and don't pedal these quarter notes. That makes it similar to what you were doing on the previous page. Just this, this and leave it down. It's too much. Even though it's louder, I still think it's too much. So pedal the half note, then lift up with a hand, a little silence. Don't pedal the quarter notes. Now pedal. Then I'll measure 15. You pretty much got to hold the pedal down here. I don't like it, but go ahead. Then change it. And then lift up with the hands so we get a little silence. And then put it down after you play the half note. Measure 18. Lift the pedal with the half note. A little silence. See, on measure 18, you're not pedaling. That's what I suggested you do on measure 12. Same pedaling there. So lift the pedal up with the first two beats and then don't pedal that. And again, lift the pedal up with a half note on measure 21. Don't pedal this. Now, I suggest on measure 22 that you go ahead and pedal after you play the dotted half note. Because so again, measure 21 here, lift up pedal this and hold it down for all of this and then connect this and on, all the way through and then lift the pedal with the hands so if you repeat we want a little silence before you go on it's like taking a breath and that's my impression of the pedal
I'd like to play this with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. Not going to do any dynamics. I'll give us two casts because we come in on beat three and we will repeat it because it is repeated. Ready, go. One and two. Two. Mm -hmm. 